then I can see it. It's just using the other camera, which isn't as good. Yeah, that should keep it from falling over, you know. What do you think? Good enough? Okay. So I kind of have the same idea with you, but or we can just pretty much dink for a half hour and play whatever you want. Just dink for now. Because your errors were what? Attacking shots that weren't quite ready to attack. I feel like right now I feel like my overall shot quality. I'm leaving too many balls high or attackable. Not so much things. Okay. As uh, people are in transition. You're giving them volleys? Yep. Okay. Did you play? Well, you, no, you didn't play that game today, did you? Not you the same guy. Okay. And what were those guys getting you on? Were you just making your own mistakes or anything you got high they were able to attack? Yes. Okay. Shot drops that weren't good enough, and we never got into dink. Okay. Uh, we got into dink, and uh, anything, anything attackable. Was it you going forward? You going cross court? Were you hitting the twos and fours? Because I know John will. He'll punch his backhand. Right. I know Paul will attack anything that's anything <laughs> that's a, up to two feet below the net, you know, and he's effective. Uh, Greg, anytime you go forward at him, he'll attack, but he won't attack from below the net. Right? Attack balls you shouldn't have, or no, no. did you not attack balls you should have? Uh, if anything, the latter. Okay. You're yeah. just you're just trying to be the good setup guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I. It's all right. Like I, I didn't, I didn't charge the game. I didn't instead of aggression. So sort of, I'm saying there's a scale. Tentative is over here. Confident is over here. Okay. Yeah. Which is just not playing with those guys. I feel 
feel like an idiot. Yeah, you don't want to miss, right? No. Maybe they're trying hard enough to win a game with me. That's how I feel like it. And, uh, you know, the drops are just sometimes okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Sometimes not. Uh, like I said, the one, one specific is uh, John's third shot drop, that his slicey thing. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Okay. Like that shot there was terrible. I had a low one here. I needed to just reset my head, give you a neutral dink there, right? Instead, it was not hard. It was not soft. It was just nicely up for you to pound. Yeah, I want to work on basically John's third, you know, yep. and you working on the frying pan. Yes. Say right. so. Go on that side. It'll make it even harder. So I'm basically going to hit drops, and I want you to soft, so it would be my third, it would be your soft fourth to the feet, right? So everything you hit, I want in the kitchen, unless you have a really high, high percentage attack, but it can't be a volley, right? Yeah, I've eliminated that. Okay. Down, they're two steps in, and they've got a volley. And, yeah. At Char's level, that's going to work, that shot, yeah. all day. Yeah. But at you going up, it's tough, right? That's it. So we're working on getting a neutral shot. Yeah. Do you care where in the kitchen? Nope. I want it basically on this shadow line, though, really. But I don't care if it's here or there. Typically, you would hit it back to the guy coming up, the guy who hit you the shot. But sometimes that's just not possible. That, nobody's gonna touch that. Let's see if I can do his. That's the one. That's the one right there. Yeah. And I think I can take it out of the air. I've even got the wind with me. And I can't. I just... If you get in your mind that you're going to be defensive, it's easier to hit that shot, you know? It's easier to get his shot. You got it.
Okay. Uh, so on the last set of 10, really soft jams. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's a key. Uh, on the last set, I was more likely to let them drop. I didn't have to take a big step back. Right. But to, if they're dropping here, just to take them on the skip hop. Yeah. Uh, reaching them out. And then the other is just keeping my eye on the ball. So I think the judgment on out of the air, or which is just reps, right? Out of the air, let it drop. But in general, let it drop and take it on the skip hop with soft hands. That's my favorite with his shot. Yeah. He's got a good shot. So why, why try to make anything offensive out of it? Because usually in somebody's mind, they're thinking, oh, I want to be offensive. But in my mind, I want to be defensive yeah. unless they give me an offensive shot. Yeah. I don't know if he does it as well this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, he does. For me, every one of the failures in my own videotape mind. Was that right side? Here. Okay, let's try this side. You're not hitting the center of the paddle, right? And usually when they pop up, you are correct. It's you're gripping it too hard, usually. So try to do more of a, just a totally neutral frying pan, like straight like that, instead of an angle. See what it does. Yes. So instead of the cross angle, just try that. And you'll have to figure out if you have to go here or here or there, but pretty much Catching it super soft. So do you put the, the ball there? Do you like yeah, a lot. I'll put it. Side, right? I'll put it right in front of me. You know? yeah. And it just hits off and super soft. I'm trying to get it to. And I normally only do it when I hit it out of the air, but I'm just hitting these drops too good. Like that. That's it. I mean, it's like butter, man. Got to hit the middle of the paddle, though. That shot, it just works all the way up. Yeah, it's still open. It's wide open. It's wide open. Yeah. Anytime I get something in front of me, though, it's pretty frying pan. And frying pan might not be the greatest analogy, but it just kind of. But this hand's got to be super loose. Yeah. 
Now. So these aren't slices, these are more. This is where that frying pan comes really works. Yeah, nobody can attack anything. If they try to go hard, it's going out the back. I mean, it's, it's simple. Super soft hands. See, if you would hit the middle of the paddle there, it goes over. You know, when I would practice all those times hitting 100,000 balls, I loved the wind because it would blow all the balls in a corner and it's so much easier to pick up. Otherwise, they were all over the place, which sucks. Ah, so good, man. <laughs> it's like, let's try this side now, again. Because that was a lot of backhand, and this would be more forehand. trying to get you a little more aggressive because these are the ones that will get you in trouble unless you do that. You can still get that. Let me go forward at you straight. We'll go straight. Oh. Not the side of the paddle. Nope. The, yeah, the, the, the basics still have to happen. <laughs> Got to hit the middle of the paddle. Okay, I want five in a row. No, Gordon! Okay, five in a row. Get it? Five. Oh, I'm done 
back to zero. <laughs> I like to put that pressure on. Go for it. I already did. I won. I'm going to try to hit that top of that net. Four, five, zero, zero. Okay, here, here's a trick. I want six in a row. <laughs> We're gonna get him to that five. Hey, five. Let's see if we can get you six. Yeah, it's just that five number. How easy is that though? I like it. Right? Yep. Loose grip. Yeah. And when I'm at the net too and they do something, it just saves me. Because yeah. I just catch it down here and it pops up. And it really can't float too much when it's so soft. Right. Okay, let's get these picked up. But yeah, you gotta hit the center of that paddle, right? Okay, let's see. So that's, call that the frying pan catch. I'm just catching that ball. Now, if, if I'm right at the net, then I open it full and it'll pop up, but you gotta be able to angle it a little bit, but super soft grip, super loose grip, and um, super loose, and open that. I call it a blade like golf. I might leave those balls there. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Okay. All right, good enough. My knee definitely feels better without oh, playing, you know. That's good news. Plus, I'm back, back in the gym. Man, it was hurting so bad I couldn't even sleep, you know. There's so much pain. Does it? Yep. Get up in the middle of the night. How you feel? <laughs> okay, so. Let's do some cross-court dinking. The only time I, so we'll go forehand, forehand. The only time I attack forehand is when it's pretty much kind of shallow yeah. and I can take this straight across. Otherwise, I'm all defense with this forward, forehand. I can attack great off the back end. Yeah. So it's normal, okay. normal. But really, we don't want to be going over there, right? We want to be going there. Right. But depending on what this guy's doing. If he's a poacher, then we're going to set up this one, you know. But where I got good at the forehand, because that was my worst shot too, is doing this little slice, you know. Doing the slice. Let's 
So that's the slice I do. There's got to be different attacks. They aren't there, you know. That's the one I like. Did that go out? I think so. Very, really close though. But yeah, a shallow one where I can go straight across this way with my paddle upright. Because okay. if I try to slice it, it just floats up. Right. And then I get this guy killed because I'll give him a volley. You know, I don't ever want to do that. Because that's the that's the one hole. We don't we don't want to go at that one hole. So I rarely attack forehand unless it's just super perfect. I just want to give it to that two right there. If I can make you take a big step, then I can kind of get away with that one shot because it'll open a hole. Yeah. But I really don't hit it. If if we're just going neutral to neutral, I don't want to hit it because you're set up to, right. But if I can make you take a big move, then it's open. Otherwise, it's not open. So let's try to go forehand to forehand and just keep that going. Outside to outside, outside to outside. Okay, so I wanna show you my dink. So I just kind of trapped this elbow in pretty tight and I just set it at this angle and I just cut this thing. And I can control the, the pace of it just with this cut where it's easy to do the skip hops with that backhand because you got a shorter lever. This is a longer lever. Right. So I'm actually shortening that lever yeah, yeah. by getting my elbow in and just moving this just like little cuts. There's really not a lot of wrist. I will, when I'm confident and I'm better than that person, I'll start adding in a little wrist at the end to get it a little more choppy. Okay. But that's basically the dink the whole time is just this little chop. And then if he sets me up, then I bring it upright and move it across. Yes, and I get real low. <laughs> it's easy, isn't it?
I'm just really not looking to attack off of it. Great though. That's pretty good, wasn't it? That's at least 60 shots. Very good. Let's go. Let's go this way. Might be different. Yeah. So, did you play today at all or take it off? Oh, okay. Goals eventually have a chop to where it floats over and comes back and hits the net, and they can't hit it at all. I've watched Weinbach do it. Yeah. No, that's my worst shot. Don't hit that one. Just because you said your forehand is weak, and I definitely saw it as weak before, but I don't see it that way now. You know? I think we fixed it. So here I feel it's a situation, and I don't know why I don't feel it on the back. I don't think they would attack them, but it wouldn't be a good shot. You don't think they're attacking? I don't think they're attacking. Okay, let's just keep doing this, and when I hit one, it think is attackable. Okay, there are some you gave me that were attackable. Well, just, just yell it out. Okay. Keep doing this, but say attack. Okay, okay. Just so I know. But you'll notice that, that they are not patient. You know? Uh, right? They aren't patient. Because I can win just outlasting, you know? You're getting more net clearance. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't need to mess with that net. Yeah, I just want to adjust mine a little, that's all. Yeah, most people are just way too close. I mean, John especially, you know. He's going one inch over that net. And if he gets it, it's awesome. But his per it's all about percentages for me. on the one which is usually a shallow one that you can go straight over that middle You haven't given anything attackable, nothing. Okay. Nothing. The only shot, I would have to create something, yeah. you know, which would be a low percentage. But that's just doing what I showed you is what saved me because I was a horrible forehand dinker, you know. Yeah. And the elbow, right. Yeah, and you'll be able to adjust off it, but you needed a base. This is the base. You must be ready for attacks. Right, and set out here, 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 here. You know, I'm always ready. Let's finish this bucket, or finish this bag out. Because I think there's probably some cool chops you can do off of this shot, you know. But you got to get the basics first, right? Yeah, oh yeah. That's the graveyard. Last one. Let's see how long we can go. Two, three, four. Ah. One more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 38. All right, not bad. Let's see, these are out of the way, right? Okay, what time we got, Gordon? That's where you're wrong, my man. We have created a forehand thinking master. And you, and you. Okay. Okay. And I float it long. And I look at the video. I thought I knew what happened. And I look at the video and it is what happened, which is I'm taking it back here like that. Okay. And I tend it, right? 
competitive in the world. Yes. I accelerate, I pop it up. Yes. Where if I, I had been doing that, and I'm almost thinking like I just instead of being fancy like that, just punch it. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, send the ball to where I want it to go. I've got a far more directional control and distance. Do you think? Yes, absolutely. 100%. Okay. So Steve Cole would say, when it, his overhead, he doesn't hit overheads like that. Yeah. It's up, down, up, down. So up, down, yeah. right? Up, down. Yeah. You know, he's just hitting spots. Right. It's too risky the other way. I was trying to imitate Mark's mechanics, and I have those in tennis. And you, and you probably have it, too. After you're consistent and you have a big lead, you can do some cool rolls. Yeah. Right? But you got to get there first. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, the other thing is when I talk about my confidence and what erodes it, and when it erodes, I stop looking at the ball, I stop moving, I live in the past. It's just right. a terrible downhill chasm. Um, but at that, more than anything else, like an easy ball, long, it's like, let's go. What, what a waste, right? Yeah. Not a great teammate, you know. Right. Let's play straight. Uh, your serve. One, two, three, four. Now it's live. So just don't miss. Right? Zero, zero. Lulled you into sleep there, boy. Oh! We gotta really focus. Uh, zero, zero, zero. One zero. That had some magic potion on it. Okay, zero, one, I think. Nice get back there. So that's the one where I caught that cat paw, you know? Yeah. I could have went full out, it would have hit the net. So I just launched it this way. It works, you know? It's like super high percentage. I'm just getting it back to you. Two zero. I'm not sure how to teach the cat paw, but I'm sure we can figure it out. It's probably real hard for people, non, for tennis players, it'd be so awkward. You're not used to that. Nope, out. Yes. I like the wind. I don't like indecisiveness, which is what I did. I was going to lob you, and I'm like, no, not off the bounce. Off the volley. 2 1. Yeah, that'll ruin a shot, that indecisiveness. Yeah, I'd wait to probably lob when you're on that side. That's six. So that's go again. Oh, uh, what's that ball behind you? Uh, three one.
four one. Yep, one behind you. Uh, I had a lot of top spin, but and wind, so I can't say for sure. Five one. We'll never know. You hit it. No, David. That's a tough shot in the wind. <laughs> Just stupid. You thought you could use the wind. I did. Five two. I don't know if that went five. Five two. Damn wormholes. Uh, Is that my server yours? Five two. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, so I could review this tape, and I know every time I've missed is when I went off it. Yeah. You know, if I would just stay in the dink, I probably wouldn't give up a point, you know. Yeah. That one over there. Yeah, the two logs. Two Three logs, yeah. And that one. The other ones you gave me. An offensive one. <laughs> that one was high. Yeah, you weren't ready. Five two. Uh, that was gettable. Two five. one I was setting up because when you make your mistake and unless it's on a, a bad attack which I don't see you doing is if I give you that backhand volley even though that you let that one bounce but that's where I get you because you you'll hit it off the edge yeah okay to totally different game here six two so I want to push you back if I can 7 2.
I don't know. I could tell. Oh, no. oh okay. Nine two. Nine two. <laughs> Where you've gotten me, eighty there too, but it was I was doing fine coming straight up right now. Yeah. Over yep. When you went cross court. Okay. Like, and maybe your backhand to mine, you put it on my toe. Yeah. Uh, that's where I was winning that side too. Yeah, cross court instead of straight to your backhand. You got that one. You're straight. You've got a net clearance and a trajectory issue, yeah. right? You can't you can't be flat. This one, you got so much more room. Yeah. That it can be flatter yeah. relative to length, right? Yep. Yeah, and I noticed in your rec games, that's where one of your misses when you're at the net is that backhand volley. That one. Nine two. Let's see if I can set it up. Ten two. That's it! The perfect shot! Alright, let's play this. One more. Let's go cross. Or do you want to play full? So, cross court, but we, whoever has a point goes in their spot, the other person goes cross court from them. So, if I get one, I go here, you move over. If I get two, you move over. So, it's always on the server. Okay, and always cross court. Always cross court. Okay, zero, zero. Okay. One zero. Oh, wow. I had you strung out. Okay, zero one. Yeah. See, so, yeah, so I'm here. Did you see how you, you didn't move and your elbow got all the way out there? Yeah. That's a tough shot. I just, I try to take that step to keep that elbow tight. One zero. Yeah, these are mistakes you shouldn't be making. Okay, one zero. I'm out of balls. Okay, two zero. Jeez, we were both so sloppy there. Uh, zero two. Ah, not that one. You had me dead on that last one. You just had to dump in the kitchen or hit it at my feet. Or make me hit a volley from back here. Okay. You had me moving back, you know. Oh, I know that. Yeah, two zero. We never have you, <laughs> you don't have me dead when it's in the net. Three zero. <laughs> Four zero. Go again. Four.
four zero. Oh, that was excellent. What is that win there? That's the biggest thing I learned out of Sean Bev's lesson. Yeah. Was that that's you know the lob to the even. Yeah, corner. that corner. And doing that off that forehand. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, that's basically, and as you go up levels, that's the only one available for the most part. You, you can get away with it with other players, but. Four zero. Five zero. Oh, fucking dumb. out of myself for missing. It's wide open. Might as well be a mile, right? Go again. Good one. Five, two. I got a ball. I feel like you're living in the past. Oh no, because I have to think about how you got there. And I don't. Okay. So it's like a pattern, and I can't, when I'm there, I cannot put it to your one. Okay. So that's what I just think about what not to do. So yes. Yeah. That's correct, but you let it affect that next shot, it seemed to me. Well, I'm still it out. Right, right. Okay, 6 2. I did for a full three seconds. <laughs> nope, short. It's there though. Yeah, it was there. Again. Uh, two six. Yeah. All right, here we go. New wind. Seven two.
Ja. Right now, you just gotta stick with it. Yeah. You you gotta stick with it and not try the crazy the shots. Is it's higher. It, you know, and For sure. I love the balls here that I should get. Like normally, maybe you know I don't because I'm I'm trying to put it somewhere right here. And on those statistics you did too, you gotta think that I maybe got 20, 30 percent of the balls. You know. Oh well, not only that, but you were. Oh, no, you're right. um, my my ears would have went up if I'm getting eighty percent of the ball, seventy percent, like you guys all are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was good though. <laughs> that was good. Okay, 10 0, or I mean 10 2. <laughs> so, when you play the higher levels, I do the same thing. When I go, I'm playing with you guys, right? Practice games. And then when I go to the 5 0 tournament, speed's different. Everybody's getting shit back. They're I'm trying to attack shots that aren't there because I'm used to getting, okay, I hit this shot. They're going to give me my attack back. And it's not freaking there. I'm just, when I'm my first games, I am horrible. I'm making error after error after error because the shots aren't coming to me that do in this, the rec game. Right. So then I got to go, oh shit, okay. Just settle in, do what I'm good at cross court dinking, keeping the ball in play, let my partner do his thing. And then we start winning. I start making zero errors. Then I can set up my own shots, you know, if I'm like getting attacked with just rare. It's just, it's only happened once. Um, but it's, that's the way. So I got to figure out, okay, it doesn't matter who's over there. You know, I just have to hit the right shot. If they can get it, so be it. You know, I'm going to learn from it and be able to adjust it. Do I have to adjust it six inches or a foot? It's usually not whole vast amounts I have to adjust. It's minor amounts where I'm putting it in here, you know. One guy, this Hatzenbeller, because normally cross-court dinking, you're going to be fine, right? He had this shot. He went like this. And it just went right down the middle on me and Mark every time. I mean, like four in a row. It was so hidden, because instead of hitting the backhand, he goes this, and it just goes right down the middle. And we're like, divorce ball, you know, yeah. <laughs> whose ball? <laughs> it was so good. So we had to adjust off of that, yeah. you know. Not giving that Correct, not giving that shot. I had to bring it way wide or go to the other guy, you know, or make him move, because that shot was busted us. Or actually, I reverse stacked me and Mark. Because if they're coming at me, I'm not going to give them that shot. Because I was the one that gave it to them. Yeah. You know? Wow. So that was the adjustment. So I said, okay, I'm going to stack in front of the guy. Now I'm the one getting attacked. But now he just we just shut off that shot. Huh. Right? He wouldn't attack you. Because now he doesn't have that cross-court attack. Because he's they're coming at me. Oh. If they would have came at Mark, then... It, he could have had it again, but if they're coming at me, I just took that shot away from them just by the stack. You know, that's just for some reason I'm real good at figuring that stuff out. Yeah, let's see if go here, cross court dink. Yeah, cross court dink with me. And it just tore us up, man. Wow. Like four points. I mean, what a cool shot, you know? I think Kyle Yates came up with it, but but he had it. And I know this guy. Yeah, we got to take it off. 
you know, I know he, he was a good player. He doesn't look like it. You know, one of those yeah. type, but he was the best player. We ended up going at his partner, which I do know pretty well. He was very solid, but I knew I could outdink him. As long as I didn't attack him, you know, because his hands were so good. But I knew I could uh, outdink him. There's not too many people out there I can't stay in a dink battle with, as long as I stay in it. <laughs> That was Scott Moore and Scott oh. Crandall, yeah. So two of the best yeah. top ten pros in the oh, world. Yeah. So that's pretty good if I can get all the way to there until yeah. I get beat. Yep. And dinking. As long as my partner's up there pressuring. If they aren't up there pressuring, there's none, you know, the dinks don't matter a whole lot. Because <laughs> Let me turn this off. Okay, that's our lesson. It's a little windy, but we got to play in the wind too. Gordon's getting better, and he picks everything up really quickly, which is really cool. I'm wearing my KU hacks. KU's playing today. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, CoachDavidLive.com. Link in the description for Heli Spars Dynamite Doubles program. I'm going to get certified in March to be a doubles Dynamite Doubles certified coach. And that's it. Okay. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe. Thanks. That's cool.